hello friends uh, welcome back to VLSI fab this video is for all who is looking for job in electronics domain so in this video uh, like I will quickly highlight what are the important concepts and uh, how to proceed to get a electronics core job please watch till last as I try to cover most in this video let's start the video without wasting time so resume a resume is important because it helps to immediately display why you are go uh, like good fit for this job and uh, like in today's competitive market of professional jobs a resume is usually a base requirement for moving forward in the interview so uh, first of all check which job profile you are interested in accordingly uh, like uh, you specifically mentioned the skills uh, that the organization wants Spe uh, like especially if they prefer those skills and uh, ensuring that your goals and the organization's goal align then chances of getting an interview call will be higher and then promoting your uh, best skills as a VLSI engineer or electronics engineer can help you uh, get your next position in that industry uh, like choose one two three skills that you think are on excellent match for the organization and highlight them as uh, some of your best skills RTL so this is very common topic for interviews in any electronics or VLSI job uh, RTL stands for register transfer level and like in simple terms RTL design or register transfer level design is a method in which we can transfer data from one register to another uh, when we say register we usually mean D flip flop uh, which are used to store data like language used for RTL coding is either VSDL or Verilog so if you want to explore further how these codes are synthesized you, uh, you can install Vivado that is a Xilinx product and uh, it is free actually so it's like free for students and uh, in my playlist I uh, already given a video how to install Vivado and how to do the licensing and uh, if uh, like if you want to check one more level up uh, you can dump your codes in FPGA boards and uh, you can check board level like working or not so next most important topic is CMOS uh, for R&D positions and uh, physical design engineer positions, CMOS is the basic interview topic. Uh, questions may be asked like this. What is body effect or what is channel length modulation? How to reduce the delta of CMOS inverter? What is noise margin etc. So understanding of CMOS is important for any kind of electronics or VLSI jobs. So the next important thing is to explore the EDA tools. So EDA tools, uh, like these are the expensive tools. So you won't get everywhere actually. So to access the EDA tools, either you can uh, go to your university labs or you can uh, check for like whether some SMDP programs are going on, going on or not. Because these are the programs which are run by government of India. So uh, and that in that program, actually two positions they usually hire for. One is lab engineer and one is project associate. So you can check in which universities SMDP program is going on, and accordingly you can apply. And then you then you can uh, take the access to some company internship or VLSI training centers are there. There are so many VLSI training centers across the uh, across India. So you can check which are the best and you can go for it. So the next important topic is timing analysis. So uh, to understand what is timing analysis first of all we need to understand what is clock and how it works and uh, like uh, to understand the proper functioning of the clock and the data path registers how they work we need to understand the setup hold and the related uh, terms also so to understand setup and hold and other ST related topics uh, you can you can go through internet uh, like there are some good uh, websites that I have gone through like VLSI expert is there so these uh, websites are very good to learn and uh, understand the basic uh, things for STA so the main important topic is to set up and hold and uh, this will be asked in the interview for sure and once you understand the STA related concepts then you try to implement in the prime time or tempus or you take a simple project and you try to implement uh, using prime time or tempus uh, i have already given some videos related to sta timing and all in my vlsi fab playlist you can go through it 
and uh, in the in the diagram you can see see uh, the timing analysis is done in almost every steps of the physical design so you can uh, you can guess like how much important this timing analysis is so once you have understood the timing analysis properly then uh, it will be very easy to uh, learn the other aspects of VLSI things also. So next important thing that you should know is scripting and Unix. I won't say much about these things because you know already like a uh, scripting uh, tickle will help you that to, things th to make the things automated and uh, Linux command obviously you should know because you will be working in a Unix environment uh, whenever you will come to the industry. So these are the sites that I have mentioned here. There you can go through it and you will I think uh, there will be some more sites but these are the uh, good one that I have seen yet. So short term course and certification. So this uh, like uh, once you have learned all these VLSI things then you can also go for short some short term course or certification because that will boost your confidence actually so uh, so suppose you are looking for a job uh, like so i think s some verification jobs will be it will be easier to get some verification job in the starting phase so you can learn for system verilog or assertion coverage ovm and uvm related courses that will make uh, that will help you to get the job quickly and uh, uh, if you are looking for some uh, physical design related job then you can uh, go for some advanced level set uh, program in VLSI design and uh, and NPTEL also provides some courses in digital design so these are free I guess so you can go through this also and uh, some university programs also as I already mentioned that some university programs also run by government so you can uh, go for that also SMDP program you will you can also learn a lot from the SMDP program workshops Thank you guys uh, for supporting VLSI Fab and uh, I have made this video just to give you a quick glance like how to get started for the electronics job and uh, guys please like share and subscribe if you like this video and uh, I will be I will be taking some more videos uh, to VLSI Fab in the upcoming week thank you